Okay, stay, stay still. still. It's picture day. Say cheese. Fuck you. I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. My name is H, and I'm an individual with a past marked with serious criminal activities. I've killed people, locked people in boxes, abused close friends, and much, much more. But what really got me involved with the fuzz is when I illegally claimed ownership of a house previously owned by two individuals. Yeah, I don't get it either. Since then, I've been working on myself to become a better person, and I hope to eventually get released one day and right my wrongs. After all, everyone deserves a second chance. And thus ends my tale and prep. Hey H, you got some visitors. You guys? What brings you to this place? Well, it's been ages since our last rendezvous, and we thought, why not pay you a surprise visit and tell you that- You're here to bail me out? <laughs> oh, fuck no. That's not our place to do so. We just wanted to drop in and remind you that you truly earned every single moment of this glorious payback. <laughs> okay. Is that all you wanted to say? Well, if I had to say anything else... I hope you care about your manhood enough to not drop the soap. <laughs> <laughs> Burn in hell, bitch! Well, that turned out well. Hey H, you have another visitor. <laughs> and thus ends my tale in prison. It really fucking sucks. Oh boy, it's Halloween. You excited, Towel? I'm thrilled. Aw, you look cute. That's not really what I was hoping to go for. This was just the cheapest costume I could find. Well, either way, you look adorable. Oh, that should be our first trick-or-treater. Towel, you go get that. I'm just gonna use the restroom quickly. I have to do this alone? Yeah, fuck it. Trick or treat. <laughs> Are you serious? That's your costume? Oh, for fuck's sakes, I'm not going to be dealing with this for a second time. I didn't even want to wear this garbage in the first place. So then, why did you? It was a stupid bet I participated in. I lost. Yeah, maybe don't take the fucking bet. Oh, fuck <laughs> Wouldn't want to be that guy. Trick or treat. You're adopted. What? You said trick or treat, and I chose a trick. But, but I am adopted. <laughs> I am so sorry. So, so, so sorry. Here, t t take some candy. Ha! I took the bad bitch! <laughs> oh, for fuck! That's genius! Get away from my house. <sighs> Towel, can you take over candy duty? This is getting too much for me. Sure thing. I just need a minute. Make it quick, please! Red, what are you doing? What? It's Halloween. Yes. So, where is your costume? <sighs> Who needs a scary costume when you can have a gun to your face? It's much scarier. Right. Well, with how many times you pulled your gun out to me alone, I think the spark has faded. Oh, come on! You're not even the slightest bit afraid? Nope. Not at all? Nuh-uh. Damn. I guess I failed to- <laughs> Give me the fucking candy! Okay, okay, here! Spark has faded my ass. This is getting completely out of control. Towel, are you nearly done in there? Towel? 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 <gasps> oh my god! Towel! Towel, are you okay? Speak to me! No. No, no, no! <laughs> Bam! Ah! 
You just got pranked. What? You're alive? Of course I am. I am so confused. Alright, alright, listen. Me and Red were thinking of pranking you for this year's Halloween by having you think I was murdered. And from the looks of it, the plan worked perfectly. Out of all pranks, you chose that? Yeah, that's right. What? <laughs> mm. Well, you definitely got me fooled. And it was pretty clever. So, happy Halloween, Towel. Happy Halloween to you too, Plumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I said get away from my ha I don't have Uno, so go fuck off. Everyone has Uno. Hey, uh, do we have some crackers lying around? Yeah, one is on the couch right now. <laughs> what? Dude, that is so racist. I didn't mean anything by it, I just- I don't want to hear it. You literally just called me a cracker. No, no one didn't. Oh really? Well, tell me Shane Dawson, who else is white and sitting on the couch? Because last time I checked, it ain't nobody but me. So go on, tell me, you got me invested. Maybe that actual cracker that's been conveniently on your ass this whole time? Wait, what? Oh. Well, now I feel stupid. <sighs> I'm sorry, Towel. I don't know why I just jumped to conclusions like that. It's fine. It's an easy mistake to make, really. What's that supposed to mean? Oh shit, that came out wrong. <laughs> oh man, I'm not privileged anymore! <laughs> My balls itch. We now return to All in the Family 2023. Oh jeez, we got ourselves a cunt here. <laughs> you know what I hate? Pandering. What do you mean? Like, why do you have to take these already established properties and make changes to them so haphazardly? I don't know, money? I mean, yeah, but you could make the same amount of money with an original idea. These talentless fucks have absolutely no clue what they're even doing. I mean, look at me. I'm black. Did you ever see me asking for a black Archie Bunker? Hell no! I mean, sometimes these changes aren't always for the worst. It all just depends on how the project and characters are executed. I'm looking at you, HBO Max. Huh. That's true. I guess I'm not totally against the idea of race swapping in principle. It's just when some of those characters are portrayed to be the most annoying fucking people on the planet. I guess, but that's just business for ya. I suppose. Maybe I'm blowing this a little out of proportion. I mean, at least we're not fictional characters with the potential of being completely changed. Unless we're talking about my recurring dream. What? Nothing! Nothing. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Oh jeez, we got ourselves a Pandora here. <laughs> Say, have you heard from Red recently? No, actually. Why do you ask? No reason, I just noticed he hasn't been around as much as he used to. I think your questions are about to come to the forefront. Howdy, <laughs> y'all! Red? Are you okay? Yeah, life's a fucking party in my world! Are you drunk? Drunk? Oh, no, no, no. That requires you drinking water, right? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> oh, you failures are hard to get. Is this why you haven't been around as much? Well, I noticed my life was getting kind of boring, so I thought I'd take up drinking and... I think I got a problem. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> How much have you been drinking, dude? Oh, that's a tougher. It might be in the double digits. Unless it's free. Maybe four? You should have drank yourself to a stroke by now. What can I say? I'm not a towel cauldrist. What? Well, 
shit's been fun, but I gotta go back to my place. You see, my porn collection is there. Bye. I should have asked him where he got his drinks from. Towel, no. Am I the only one that's getting really numb to this? I mean, it's like every week or so we have to place the door back on the hinges. I know what you mean. It's not even surprising anymore. Yeah, seems like it's really busted. We might have to call someone. You need help with that? Hey, Who the hell are you? Towel? Me? Why, I'm a towel just like you. Listen, I hate to get real with you, but you're not. What are you talking about? You're toilet paper. Calling yourself a towel is an insult to actual towels. Like us. But, but I am a towel. Are you made of cloth? No. Do you keep people warm? Well, no, but... Is your main purpose to clean the inside of dirty assholes? Yes. So wake the fuck up and accept who you really are. Towel. Don't you think you're being a little too rude? After all, this person's probably just misunderstood. Why not educate them more civilly? Look, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be compared to someone who only cleans shit as opposed to us cleaning an entire person. Oh, well, now look what you've done. You know, maybe I put to myself as a towel because I'm not comfortable being referred to as who I actually am. I hate that I can only clean shit. I want to be more than that. Towels do better in every single way. Is it too much to ask for? Hey, look, kid. I, I had no idea. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll tell you what. What if I call you Paper Towel? Does that sound good? Paper Towel? Yeah, I like that. Cool. Wanna help put up this door? <laughs> sure. I'm proud of you, Towel. You did the right thing. Huh. I guess I did. Ooh, hey, I need to use the bathroom. Would you... I'm just messing with you, don't worry. I already have a full roll of actual toilet paper upstairs. Thank Christ. Well, while you're up there, me and Paper Tom might try to get to know each other. Alright. Carry on, then. Ooh, I need to shit! <laughs> Come on. Let's chill on the couch. Hey, Towel? What's up? Why was Towel so mean to me earlier this morning? Oh, that. I'm sorry for the way he acts. It's just how he is sometimes. But trust me, he definitely has a soft spot, that's for sure. Is he even normally like that? Yeah. I... Don't know why. He was so sweet once upon a time. Rarely ever mad. Something just kicked into him one day. I guess a lot happened, he was stressed, and... He kinda just... Yeah. What terrible thing could have happened for him to be such a dick? Well, we've been through a lot these past couple of months. Let's see, got accused of murder, got our house taken from us, almost got fucking shot, got our power shut off for a few days, which was entirely his fault. <coughs> and I guess it just stressed him out, you know? Wow, that is a lot. I thought he was just like that. Yeah, he's still sweet though. He always was until everything happened. That just shows that most people are mean because they have something going on. Just know that if you come across someone like that, don't be mean back. Oh, good to know. Anything cool happened while I was gone? What the fuck? Nice to see you, too. <laughs> Seriously, somebody give me a recap.
Howdy, world. Let's see what today brings. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. I could go for a bagel. Unfortunately, I don't have actual ones, so I'm gonna have to make do. What to use? What to use? I know! <laughs> and just like that, we got us some breakfast. Now, of course, we're gonna have to wash this all down. And I know just the thing to do the trick. I swear on sweet baby Jesus, these shows are redundant as hell. Who comes up with this shit? <sighs> there is nothing productive to do around here. This place is a fucking mess and I'm still bitching on the inside for a meal. Maybe I should crash at the towel's house. It's nothing I'm not used to these days. Out of town? Since when? <sighs> well, I guess that's it. Only one thing to do now. You'd think they install a security system by now. Well, time to have some fun. How am I going to explain this to him? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Red, it's me, Towel. Just wanted to let you know that me and Towel are going to be out of town this weekend to have a little vacation to ourselves. So don't come over to the house as we won't be there. Okay? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I'm absolutely gonna kill him. Don't talk like that. You're not gonna kill anyone. Wanna bet? Look, just try to be civil about it if it gets here. <sighs> I'll try. But I can't make any promises. <laughs> Guys! You have to hear this! I can't keep my composure. You! Oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? Why did you fuck up our house? Was the call from Talon not enough for you? Why would you come over here, completely drop an unannounced, and put bullet holes and cracks on the fucking wall? Towel, you can't breathe. Stop it. Good. Maybe then he'll know how it feels to be dead like I am on the inside. <coughs> Listen. I'm sorry about that, but right now there's bigger problems at hand. Bigger than this? How do you figure that? God, I don't know how to tell you this. Either tell us your bullshit, or I could go back to ending you. Well, after I got done doing all of this, I got myself sent to prison. While I was there, I noticed there was someone in there talking about y'all. Wanting to enact revenge. What? Who? I don't know for sure, but it didn't sound like a bluff. Once I heard him saying all that, I immediately made a run for it. Luckily unnoticed. Wait, can you describe what they look like? Let's see. He appeared as all red, so admittedly my respect for him instantly increased. He had two big roundish eyes, had a voice that could only be described as smoking a shitload of helium balloons, and seemed to be some kind of letter? H. Sick bastard! Wait, before you made your run for it, did you notice him following you or was he still locked up? He was still in his cell, but I heard everything. I don't know what y'all did together to get him here, but we have to- Breaking news. In a shocking turn of events, a daring prison escape unfolded today as inmate H managed to blast a hole through the wall of his cell, leaving authority scrambling to apprehend the fugitive. Inmate H was serving his time for theft at the Object Soft Detention Center. The escape occurred during the late hours of the morning, 
Sources within the prison reported that inmate H somehow managed to blast a hole in his cell wall. The details of how are still under investigation. And if you happen to spot anyone who looks like this, call authorities immediately. And in other news, my ex still hates me. That stupid bitch. This can't be. Hello there, you sons of bitches. Bastard! What the hell do you want from us? Simple, my friend. I want justice. Justice? Justice? You're the guy with criminal act and you want some justice? Yeah, that's right. What the... <laughs> Whatever happened to you wanting to right your wrongs and become a better person? <laughs> Did you really think I meant that gay shit? I was just attempting to get let out early with good behavior. That wasn't working, so escaping was the next best thing. You lying, manipulative son of a bitch! Heh, <laughs> I can sense your rage, but that doesn't hold a candle to how enraged I am. I may look as happy as a 12-year-old high on ecstasy, but you don't know my true potential until it's too late. You will pay for having the audacity to lock me up! Is that so? Well then, let's finish this here. You had your gun in prison? You think I don't keep spares? Gladly. <laughs> you know, this is completely off topic, but all three of you together match the colors of the Nazi party. Just notice. Shut the hell up. Make me. <laughs> Just face it, you free don't stand a chance. You may have kissed my ass that one time, but not today. Unlike you, I've got the skill and the powers to fucking end you. You think just because you got your little toys, punches, and kicks, you'll be able to beat the snot out of me? Bitch, I have fucking lasers. You couldn't get rid of me before, and you sure as hell won't be able to get rid of me now. And I'm gonna make sure of that. Starting by obliterating each of you one by one. You know, I think I'll start off with you. After all, we do have the same. Ladies first. Say goodbye, towels. Or whatever you can say when your mouth turns into ash. You're finished. <laughs> <laughs> and messing with my family. Don't speak. G -g -g Goodbye, you sons of bitches. And she said I wouldn't kill anyone. What happened? T towel? Wh where's H? Doesn't matter. He's gone. What did you do to him? What I had to do, Towel. He was a threat to us all. I don't feel like going into details. The point is, you're okay. Whatever you say. Thank you. Anything for you, dude. Now, this place needs a cleanup. Mm. Oh, oh, that's right, bitch. Arrest me, mm, bitch. Mm, arrest me, bitch. Mm, yeah.